So the title, yes, kind of misleading, but then again, not so much. And let me explain really fast and we'll start fishing. December is notorious, at least for my channel, on like it's gonna die. And the reason for that is because wintertime fishing, not many people like to do it. So they turn to other things and they just go elsewhere. So it almost feels like my channel dies, kind of like the falling leaves on trees. The tree looks like it's dead, but then come springtime, it gets rejuvenated and uh, it, everything looks alive and well. It's the same thing for my channel. So I am very appreciative for all of y'all that are currently watching. You're my hardcore people and uh, just having viewers like that helps to get me through the really tough times because as it is, winter fishing is definitely tough. So that's why I say the death of my YouTube channel or my YouTube channel is dying. But yeah, let's uh, let's start fishing and see if we can tear into some reds. Uh, actually, today we're just equal opportunity throughout the remainder of this month and the next few months. So anything we can catch is going to be spectacular. I'm gonna start things with the hydra bug. Throw some pro cure on it. Here we go. Now we gonna get fishing, fishing, fishing is the absolute best thing. Oh wow, son. What? The grass line is covered. It's got water on it. Yeah. Southeast winds though. Southeast winds come along and they put some water back into our system. Well. For the past few trips that I've come out here, the grass line and all the oyster along that grass line, there's a lot of it too, so you gotta be careful when you cast, you make it to the line. Um, it's all been exposed. And the fact that we've got some water means that we'll be able to get back into some of the uh, furthest reaches of this bayou. Seeing as we're fishing some of the bank, I think the skelly will come in clutch right now. It's been a long time since I've used the SLX. It would be nice to catch some flounder, but so late in the season that those guys are all gone now. They're out in the Gulf doing their thing, falling in love. No way. I was about to say, dude, seriously. I'm long overdue for a fish. Oh my God, I felt just exactly what you felt. As soon as I hit, that oyster just went crazy. Such a drastic change in the weather too today. No longer like freezing our balls off and man, hands are numb. Like I can feel my hands. I'm not, I don't even have shoes on. <sighs> no, I don't know about that. We gotta get home. Yeah, we gotta get home. Oh, oh, got him, son! Oh, I would be so mad. Is that a red or a speck? No, it's a speck, Christian. Get the net. That is a big one. Oh my God, son! That is a that is a big one. Yeah! <laughs> she is fat. Holy moly. Good lord. Just right over there towards the bank. Right next to the oyster. Straight retrieve, son. This is a fat girl. One of those winter trout. I told you, I was long overdue. She's got some girth. We're going to eat her, everybody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many of y'all, by show of hands, got mad when I said that? All right, here we go. Look at this girl, 20, that is a 20 and a half without a pinched tail. I need a photo, son. You're gonna have to stop what you're doing and video this because I'm gonna bask in this moment. Look at that, the skelly swim. Oh gosh, I'm just so, so excited. That skelly swim right there, y'all. Yellow mouth. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and put her back in. All right, big girl, I love you. Go tell your family that, hey, you got me all wet. Oh my gosh, ladies and gents. Y'all just don't know. Well, maybe you do, but, uh-oh. Are you on or are you? Oyster, Christian's on Oyster. I needed that, I have been needing that. How many trips? I think it's like three trips. Three trips that, that I haven't been able to catch anything. All the action's been coming from Christian and I was just getting lonely. Super excited. So for those of y'all that are wondering, Christian's setup, this is a Shimano SLX 150XG and we got it paired to, uh oh, Christian's on. We got it paired to a, what is it? <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. That's gotta be the smallest one. Talk I've about ever. late in the season. What the hell? I don't think I've ever caught that. <laughs> Christian's PB short guy. So we have this SLX paired to a hollow point ultralight. This was a prototype that Old 18 Outfitters was thinking about mass producing. I don't know if they still have it in the works or not. You want a photo? It seems like it's potato chip. Yeah, that's what I call them, tater skins. Here, let's get a photo of Christian's prized catch. Super close, so it looks like a monster. That's what your your caption should be, catching monsters. You see, we get normal water levels. Fishing becomes so much more enjoyable because we're not worried about bottoming out in like six inches or less of water. The trolling motor just takes care of us. Got him? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Red. Oh, God, that's a donkey. Oh, yeah. Oh. There you Let's go. go baby. Oh, oh yes. He's, fat. <laughs> he's not long, or he's not. Yeah, he's not long, but he's fat. Well, I'm going to guess 18, maybe 19. Yeah, some, Oh, God, no, son, that's 20. You think? Yeah, all day long. Oh, yeah, 21. Uh, pinch tail. 22. 22. <laughs> really yeah. Nice. Still Good catch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he took off. <laughs> be a red right up there, son. Yeah. Oh God, that is a red. Nah, I think he's spooked. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he's just hauling butt. He's hauling butt out of here. That sucks. Maybe I'd just turn this off and, and we'll trolling motor out. Decisions, decisions. That was clearly a red, though. Here comes the rain again. If our lures start melting, then we know we need to get out of this area. All this water, everyone, I think it's coming from that chemical plant. Uh, the Enios, Enios, or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. If we don't make it back home, well, I was going to say, somebody send out an APB on us, but if we don't make it back home, the video doesn't even make it to YouTube. Or if y'all are watching this, just know that my wife or Elijah someone decided to publish the video to raise awareness about chemical plants. And with that, we are done. Thanks for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button for all of y'all that wanna know about all this gear that we are using, the lures, the rods, the reels, 
All of that's going to be linked in my video description down below. Check it out. If you make a purchase, you would also be helping to support my channel. Definitely appreciate it. Tell all your friends and family who love to fish about the channel. Continue watching throughout this winter time frame. We're still going to bring content and uh, don't make December a bad one for me because it is horrible. Again, a YouTube fishing, like a YouTube fishing channel's nightmare is the month of December and January. Everything plummets to include the temperature and the fish become harder to catch. So enough of me nagging about my horrible December thus far. I thank you for watching and until next time, tight lines y'all.